so uh, we can we can have some discussion it was very very intensive uh, session and and all three papers uh, aimed at uh, a little bit different uh, different ideas but at the same time i think we were really performing co-horizontal art history so that made me really really happy uh, so uh, I open the floor to, to you. Uh, I think it's probably it's not possible to ask any general questions. So uh, please, you know, uh, aim at, at uh, uh, the the speaker straight. Uh, anybody anybody interested? Ready with the question? I see the hand, Radek. Okay, uh, I have two questions. Um, so, uh, uh, first of all, to Daniel, um, I really um, um, liked your presentation and the focus on the sound and music uh, in uh, connection with the idea reson of resonance. I think this is really important. So, I was wondering, uh, could you elaborate uh, what can we take from you know the notion of resonance and vibration? Uh, taken acoustically, uh, and how can we make it into a concept that we can use uh, to discuss cultural transfer? Because I think it's really interesting, because it goes, it's like uh, Baxendal was uh, writing in his Excursus Against Influence. It's no longer one-sided, but it's more uh, about co-implication, you know, like the sound waves uh, and interference as well. Uh, and the uh, second um, uh, um, question and comment is to Magdalena. I think it's really um, amazing that uh, you are talking about uh, also the critique um, of the, the network um, also from when compared with you know the Latin American uh, collectivism and you draw to the surface also, you know, lack of political engagement and this kind of West uh, centricity um, also of the network, uh, you know, one reason being, you know, this aspiration to the English as the lingua franca. Um, and then also this kind of um, aspiration also to enter this kind of Western circulation. I was wondering, uh, do you think it also might have had to do with the reality of the Garrick era that, you know, there was this real socialism was aspiring and included some elements of Western consumerism into, you know, the otherwise, you know, this um, centrally planned economy? So I was thinking perhaps, you know, this horizontal network can be also considered some sort of like importing this kind of Western luxury good of this, um, you know, this um, horizontality into the reality um, of, you know, Eastern Europe. For example, the same, uh, this uh, complex situation is um, with, for example, Natalia LL uh, using the consumer goods uh, in her consumer art series. And I remember that Agata Jakubowska was saying that in uh, the context of uh, feminist art in Polish uh, People's Republic, actually Western consumer luxury goods were used uh, in this context as a way of deterritorialization. So, so th that's, that's my question and, and comment as well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, th thank you, Radek, for uh, this. Uh, this is a very important question you pose. Uh, I'm afraid I don't have a definite answer and uh, uh, I, I think that uh, the notion of re uh, resonances is, is uh, uh, or acoustic resonances is uh, it's a, uh, one thing in uh, let's say theory of music or or think, thinking about uh, uh, the sound and space and another meaning uh, could be raised uh, uh, within cultural transfers and uh, like intersubjective uh, communications. So there are two things. I think there, are, there is something uh, together, but uh, in an existential situation of, of Milan Adamciak, this means uh, uh, in-betweenness, in-betweenness as a state of being. So uh, um, this also needs uh, more uh, to be explained. 
uh, in betweenness um, uh, is a, for, from my, my position, very nice concept. And um, another maybe, um, uh, uh, this, this could be also uh, elaborated in relation to uh, spatial discourses and or territorial discourses in, in Central Europe, which were touched in the first uh, part of the conference. Uh, but also, uh, as I said, in betweenness, uh, or maybe in arts, we speak about intermedia. Intermedia, uh, uh, also like being in between um, 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 uh, music, action, or performance, and 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 uh, poetry. Let's say uh, like uh, never uh, uh, possible to to be like uh, situation situated ex situated exactly uh, on a certain spot. Uh, and then maybe I would I would talk about opacity, maybe, uh, which is uh, related to uh, to the second part of my uh, presentation uh, about uh, with uh, amateurism. Uh, like this term opacity uh, comes from Edward Glissant, his Poetics of Relations, and uh, maybe this this could this would be a nice concept, like uh, uh, for also for uh, not not only for for uh, Adamczyk, also for for uh, Jiří Valoch. Uh, uh, um, I think, uh, like being uh, not not easily uh, recognized, uh, not easily uh, 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 written down into uh, a certain certain narrative. So, be, uh, acting uh, uh, acting uh, um, as a uh, uh, in in terms of opacity, like to the rights for opacity. I would I would claim this for also for for. Uh, the work of, of Adam Czech. Magda, would you like to uh, Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for this comment. Uh, of course, I agree that partially it is connected to the Gerek era and what you named as, uh, as the problem, but it's also broader because uh, it was a case in the whole part of, I mean, almost the whole part of so-called East Central Europe. Uh, so the, pro um, the problem is broader. And I think it is um, a lack of estimation of the Marxist background and dialectical dialectics as a tool uh, that is uh, um, this uh, abolition of this uh, way of thinking and underestimation also before 89 and after 89 of the class narrative because i would be i i would i, I tend to analyze um, many processes were, which were seemingly not attached or openly not declaring the class uh, um, uh, class uh, um, analysis priority in such a um, uh, perspective. Um, even yesterday we were discussing with Boris Wooden that I, I tend to analyze the uh, conflicts, uh, wars in, in former Yugoslavia in that way. Everything was addressed but, but the class, uh, ethnicity, religion. And I really believe that, um, that my task at least in this project is to uh, to search for a um, uh, for a class uh, structure in the uh, in the networks and cooperation, because uh, what I didn't address here, because it's too complex problem. Uh, I mean, there is interesting uh, how uh, was uh, um, positioned the hierarchy before uh, between artists that came from the West and East. Um, of course, uh, at least a net declared democratic issues, but democracy wouldn't mean for them equality in a sense that I understand it. So I would say that, uh, that rather it is once it is essential feature, yeah, but uh, it is also a matter of a framework. Why do we search for uh, uh, democratic practices uh, during the 70s and we completely ignore communist practices, yeah? Uh, this, is, uh, this is something that is uh, completely omitted from the very narrative and until it is changed, um, many artworks might not be responsive, um, responsive towards it, yeah? And this is a historical mistake as well because uh, I mean, it is projected back onto the narrative from the victorious perspective, but as Kacper Zabłocki wrote, as already in the 80s, it was not 
kind of sure who is going to win this Cold War. So why do we privilege this narration, narrative? So that's, that would be my answer. Yeah, great answer. I just really quickly want to respond. Uh, yeah, I, th I think um, uh, two things. Um, it's um, uh, uh, do you consider, for example, uh, because you, you were saying that there were, you know, lack of this framework. Um, so how do you assess, for example, the, in the early 1970s, I think in 1971, uh, there was Kvikulik did uh, think communism, which was this kind of effort to um, reclaim the notion of communism and they also had uh, they made the show uh, showing also the um, struggle uh, in in other countries um, and also because you mentioned Kasper Podbłocki um, um, uh, uh, there's this um, group that is rarely uh, Considered when uh, you know uh, uh, considering networks, which was based in in the country. Uh, the I'm talking about Grupa Lucim, who uh, made lots of interventions with the um, local uh, population. Um, uh, you know, um, also surrounding the you know uh, peasant culture. You know, perhaps. Is there, is this could be also an opening, you know, like like the one you have in uh, Latin America, the Campesino movement, uh, and perhaps that could also be like a way of reintroducing the notion of class and it, describing itself into this like peasant, I'd say the peasant turn in, in Polish humanities, because I think like right now in Poland, there's a, um, lots of publications on the, you know, Reclaiming the the peasant, uh, reconsidering the class, um, not not just like peasant, but also you know working class element. So could there be an opening as well? Like my fam part of my family is actually has parent uh, is has this peasant lineage. So I have like <laughs> personal stake in you know reclaiming that. I believe so. Simply, this is the answer. And also, within the net, I, uh, I, I found some art pieces by Imre Bok, who used a postcard with a cows, and uh, he would revert, the, the, the shuffle them uh, in different directions. So that, I believe so. But of course, Kie Kiekulik is, uh, is a separate uh, problem, because they were simply devoted to communism. And, uh, and Zofia Kulik told me that uh, they were really devoted, and they really wished, uh, inspired to, to produce communist art. So this is a um, very clear situation. But in the, yes, but this is exactly what I'm looking for, and what I'm hoping for, to, to put a different frame onto it. Adit? in this panel is that, that the, the so-called East is accused many times that in theory it's totally, the, to, the theory is totally lacking the critic of modernism. And you showed quite a lot of works which could be named as theoretical objects. So if, if theory and our historian does not make the deconstruction of modernism or critic, then some artwork would do it. So I liked very much this in between us, and because this is some kind of criticism of the modernist discourse. And the, the very same way the works with Magdalena showed, so maybe we do not have to look for the critic of modernism in theory, but rather in the theoretical artworks. So it was truly very intriguing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have a uh, sort of a comment uh, inspired by your uh, <laughs> uh, contributions, uh, presentations. Um, if we think of in, in terms of this region we call uh, Central East Europe, with the inclusion of this story of uh, Bosch and Bosch and this legacy of relations between former Yugoslavia and, and uh, Hungary, then uh, it opens a perspective in which this region as far as it includes also this story, and it obviously does, uh, might uh, 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 be a way to go beyond the binarisms we have inherited, you know, with the fall of communism and this 
whole story about, you know, on one side, there is a totalitarianism and democracy, socialism and capitalism, uh, because it does not function in this case. Concretely, you know, in former Yugoslavia, there is no central planning in economy. There is even no state property. All of the artists you mentioned were actually freelancers. So the art, films, everything was produced by freelancers. More than 90% of uh, cultural producers, and I was also freelance. And it was a market socialism. From the perspective of this socialism, what is called East European socialism was defined already in 1950 in the Central Committee, Yugoslav Central Committee, as a form of uh, monopoly capitalism, I quote, worse than a uh, Western one. So we, we, we get, uh, you know, a very complicated story about what is the legacy of socialism. And speaking from Croatian perspective, <laughs> you know, in the 90s, it is not only we say uh, nationalism. It was a nationalism that was legitimated, democratically legitimated. Uh, nevertheless, it managed to destroy the, the legacy of contemporary art, uh, 3,500 uh, monuments, you know, partisan monuments were destroyed by dynamite, among them masterpieces of abstract plastic. Uh, Three million books were destroyed systematically. 16% of uh, 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 public book fonts were uh, 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 destroyed and uh, we were witnessing, and we have been witnessing, a recovery of this worst sort of kitsch nationalist figurative. You know, they would destroy uh, an abstract monument and, and put uh, 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 a, a, a monument, figurative, of course, of Hans Dietrich Genscher, you know, instead. So the, uh, it's, I'm talking about very uh, uh, contradictory processes, which if we look into the past, we need somehow go beyond these binaries. And uh, uh, Magda, uh, one question, uh, peripheries of the, of the world unite. Probably this is some sort of way to think of region, but uh, to admit from the very beginning, we cannot think of region uh, beyond certain agonistic character. It creates uh, 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 contradictions and certain political tension. We might call it subversive or not, but it is anti-hegemonic, obviously, as far as it, it has any emancipatory meaning. So probably it is not that bad uh, comparison. Or, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all papers. I, I, I have a Bosch and Bosch question. <clears throat> uh, Emesha, you, you presented convincingly this uh, unique phenomenon which is translingual, transnational, and this Vojvodina cultural um, uh, melting pot. And I, I wanted to ask you, beside this uh, phenomenon, generating uh, a lot of affirmative, positive, uh, transfer-oriented values, which we know from the, from the work of, uh, of, uh, of this group and of this context. And it's what I, what I always uh, was my, my uh, reception. You co uh, curated the exhibition um, about poetry and performance when we presented Bogdanka Poznanovic, very nice work, which is, so I think, uh, um, a, a generally an artist who is underrepresented in the, in the history of, uh, of art of this period, and, uh, and Bosch and Bosch, uh, Balin, Shombati, um, uh, and uh, other artists, and it was for me always uh, so an implicit uh, value of, of, the, of this context, this Vojvodina phenomenon, and you, you now presented it uh, um, uh, very clearly. And my question would be, is there also an aspect of, uh, let's say, 
this uh, uh, dissidence and uh, uh, generating dissonance in this situation, which is uh, unique in, in Eastern Europe and in Europe generally, unique through the radicality of, of this combination of influences, nationalities, traditions, languages, uh, and so on. Uh, um, this is so something disturbing in it, which would have also a static impact. Um, thank you very much. Uh, this is a very complicated issue because the question, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, complicated to answer the question because the situation and the phenomena is really complicated and, and the key notion is here the contradiction Boris just mentioned, I think, because in case of uh, Bosch plus Bosch, it's, it's very difficult to speak about dissident concepts and dissident positions because, you know, of course, they had some post-69 um, spirits in the sense of, uh, of uh, aesthetics and politics and, uh, and life spirits as well. But at the same time, we cannot adopt neither the official or unofficial terms because they were present in this official uh, venues of Tribina Mladih and around these magazines published by the state and also their aesthetic program was uh, uh, related to, to the official concept of Yugoslavia so they were not uh, rebellions in this sense. This is, I think this is a sense of the whole, whole uh, concept that they are really tried to, to adopt the bigger pattern and that they wanted to be part of, uh, of the, the, the new Yugoslav program. And in this sense, they were not unique at all. In this sense, they were really similar, acting similar like any other artist groups from Yugoslavia from this generation and the new artistic practice. But there is, uh, sorry, but still there is this, uh, this specific aspect uh, of, uh, of this connectedness to the, to the Hungarian language, to the Hungarian culture, and to the, to the tradition of the avant-garde, which was present in Vojvodina uh, during the 20th century. Uh, these tiny groups uh, related to Lajos Kasek, and the historical avant-garde were present in, in these cities uh, with in different magazines like Ut and, 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 and other these small groups. And they really defined themselves through this uh, heritage of the historical avant-garde. Yes, but I, I, I didn't mean uh, dissidents in the political sense. What, what, what is uh, uh, more I um, interesting, I think, it's, uh, it's some uh, in this hybrid constellation. If it uh, if it has an impact for the for the uh, let's say productivity and uh, work inside inside this community inside a, uh, the group, these these differences and this hybrid situation. This, this this political dissent it's uh, it's it's clear in this in in, in, in the th in the term how complicated it was and not uh, dichotomy and uh, uh, all, all this uh, stuff it's quite clear I think but but inside you you, you know what I mean this uh, this uh, in inner inner logics of communication inside a group and and uh, and uh, tangents which are maybe produced through this uh, mm -hmm. uh, hybrid situation, which is unique. Yeah, so I think in their case, uh, we should accept the notion of uh, locality mm -hmm. in a conceptual way. So I think they are really uh, kind of heroes of provinces uh, who really didn't try to adopt the Western patterns like their Hungarian counterparts of New Vanguard did, you know, they really want to, to be like, like the West. They really tried to, to find some, some local solutions, and that's why it's so, for me, it's so authentic. 
this program, some of them really stayed for their life in these small cities and villages. Slavko Matkovic, I think he's, he's, a, he's a fantastic artist, but he, 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 he was a kind of uh, uh, hero and a prisoner at the same time of his own situation of, of, at the provinces. So, so I think uh, we really have to find new, new concepts and new, new ways to, to define or to approach these very specific uh, situations in case of these, these artist groups, not, not the us usual ones we, we have already. Thank you. Um, anybody has something really urgent <laughs> to, to say? <laughs> If not, keep your steam for tomorrow. And I am very happy to thank you, all three of you, and thank you that, that you managed to, uh, to go through the whole day of conference very actively.